unicorn son and made me and Katie proud parents 7,106 days ago. Oh. Quinn was always a little different. He grew up as part of the baby Einstein generation. We think that this is where he learned to read and read very, very early. It used to be a party trick when most kids, boys, were barely mumbling. We could write words on a chalkboard like cow and baby and cat and he would instantly read them back. He was like 16 or 18 months old. It was a great party trick. Some of you know that uh, I like to count things. Well, I also like to write things down. It can be quite nostalgic at times. As the kids grew, I took the liberties of writing down some of the more notable things about Quinn that I thought you'd enjoy and recognize as part of his personality. Of the little boy that has grown into a man and our graduate here today. So, at the age of just, uh, just short of eight, on November 7, 2008, Quinn, not quite finished with his movie, comes downstairs and sits next to his mother on the couch. He then very politely asks, Mom, what age is it okay to say shit? <laughs> <laughs> on October 25th, 2008, Quinn asks, Mom, what is the last number? On October 25th, 2009, Quinn, hey mom, can I have a drink? Katie. Sure, Quinn, what would you like? Quinn, Bud Light. <laughs> what? Why would you want a Bud Light? Not too heavy, not too light, Bud Light. <laughs> okay. So I, I wanted to introduce the topic of governors to Quinn, the governor. And I said, hey, Quinn, do you know who the president of California is? And he says, yes, Dad, it's Mr. Freeze. Long pause. He's from Batman. Arnold Schwarzenegger starred Oh. Oh. Wow. Quinn walking in from Big Red one day on May 3rd, 2010, had some leftover Sprite in his can. And he gets out of the car and stands there in the concrete just before the garage. And he pours it on the floor of the, gar uh, of the garage um, all over the place. It was the entrance. And I said, Quinn, what are you doing? This isn't right. What the heck? You can't just dump soda on the ground. Put it in the grass. What the heck is this? So Quinn very calmly walks into the kitchen, puts the can in the recyclable bin, comes outside with the morning sun beaming on his face and says, don't worry, Dad, the sun will dry up. <laughs> That's right. We just watched a movie about Temple Grand. When it was over, Quinn said, said unsolicited, this was the third nonfiction movie that I've ever watched. <laughs> oh, yeah, Quinn, what were the other movies you watched? The first was The Right Stuff. And the second was Bach. We saw that mu in music class. This was the third nonfiction movie that I watched. <laughs> Temple Grandin was, and he started counting with his fingers, 11 years older than Michael Jackson. Wikipedia confirmed that this was true and that they were, more coincidentally, born both on exactly the same day, August 29th, 1947, 1958, respectively. He was right again. Um, Quinn, again, always fascinated with numbers. We were watching, and Arizona scored a fourth quarter touchdown in the playoffs. At that point, he said, Dad, Arizona, it's 45 to Green Bay, 38. That's the exact same score as the New York-Philadelphia game, 45-38. We looked it up. Sure enough, it was right. That was two months earlier. Wow. On his way to bed, Quinn announced, Dad, I just love November and December. They are my favorite times of year. Why, Quinn? Well, in November, we get to go to Arizona. And then in December, the winter rains begin. I just love when it's raining outside and the heat comes on. I just love how relaxing the rains are when I am inside. Last year, the rain started on Sunday before he left for Arizona, November 11th. I remember that and how happy and relaxing it was when the rain started. March 15th, 2015, Quinn on Donuts. Hey dad, Krispy Kreme and Dunkin' Donuts are just like the Lockheed L-1011 and the DC-10. <laughs> I said, how is that, I asked. Uh, dad, it's very obvious. Everyone knows that the L-1011 is better, but the DC-10 is more popular. 